Hey dudes and dude, it's downloaded here, and welcome back to the Silent Age. Last time got very interesting, didn't it? We uh, found a dead time traveler, and now we're going to meet him in the present. <laughs> oh, wibbly wobbly timey wimey for you. We're really we're starting to get towards the end now. There should only be two episodes left, and we are in the house. Ooh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what so gonna be so scary about this house. But here we are. The crocodile's still out there by the way. <laughs> remember the Mr. Crocodile? Boy, I really didn't remember on that door. You re you no, you did not. You really did not. I expected that in bits. Hmm, can we see this lamp? Looks lovely. It's a lamp. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. I'll try painting. Hmm. It's a triangle made of cubes going in circles. Got a lot of bottles in the shop. Ooh, abstract, another abstract painting. And there's another one below. Hmm. It's a painting of a bunch of stacked cubes. Like you actually can't tell which one is at the top. They all seem to be. It's a triangle, but it's going in circles. Hey! It's not that much different from that one. Ooh, can I go in the drawers? Not much here except the box of matches. Well, take the box of matches, dude! These can come in hand. Oh, there's only one left. There's always a, there's a cliche. You can't pick up a full box of matches. And even if you do, only one will work. That is the cliche. Uh, can't click on the mat. Let's go through the door. It's quite ominous, isn't it? It's not an ominous door. It's like oh, lights coming out of it. Ooh. If a guy who's on the bayou, this really looks quite nice. Starburst clock. This guy sure has style, boy. <laughs> oh, you said that, boy. Small shelf. Nothing in here of any interest. Another abstract painting. Oh, look at that map. That's weird. No curve in it, but it's going in circles. I think you're missing the point. Is it? There's a dustbin of a shotgun. Do I get a shotgun? I said there used to be a rifle. Oh, it's a rifle. A little more like a shotgun to be like a two-bow shotgun. It's like a thick box. Pretty dark in here, but I'm positive these are all the same, but really thick ones too. I doubt Lambert will miss a few. What do I want books for? Fireplace. Uh, okay, we can light up the room, so let's light it up. Only one last left in the bar, so only one short shot at this. There's got to be something dry around here I can use for tinder. Oh, uh, there we go. Put the books in there. Get the match out. Strike it up. There we go. Those old books really did the trick. Now, oh, it's a zebra print rug. Why does everyone so nice. mean the zebra? Oh, nice rug. Wait a minute, there's something under here. Oh, we found a door. Hang on, I want to play the piano first. Can we like Max Payne? <laughs> Ping! <laughs> don't, don't even try it too. Ding! I wish I knew how to play. Never had a piano lessons good enough. But I did play a mean kazoo. Ah, oh, someone get Joe Kazoo. I want to hear it. Bookshelf, this one, got anything? Just piles and piles of books. And uh, one last abstract painting. I can barely make it out, but it looks like a lot of other paint, like the other paintings in here. There's definitely an Ouroboros theme to this, isn't it? Like everything going around in circles. It's a trap door. It's not a trap door. It's just a door. A trap door implies that you're gonna fall through it. No handle or even a place to put one. Maybe I could wedge something in the planks to pry it open. Uh, okay. Hmm, warm and cozy. Great, but we need to find something now. Come oh, on, play a tune. While I'm thinking. My time machine isn't working, so fuck knows. Oh, wine opener. Is that a wine opener? Is that what it's, I don't think it's called, it's called a corkscrew, isn't it? A wine opener? That's like very basic lingo. Here's <laughs> a wine opener with a door. It worked. There's a ladder going down to the basement. Okay. What are we going to find in here? I'm, I'm guessing a time machine. Oh, there's a locked door, I'm guessing. Yeah, the shit's locked. But it doesn't feel too solid. Oh, he's missing wine. That's the wine upstairs. There's a lot of wine for just one guy. What's the wine cellar? People do that. There are people out there who like just have loads of booze in their bottom shelf going, ah, we, we won't touch that yet. It's like, dude, get pissed. Get drunk. Live a little. I don't see that episode of Black Books. <laughs> uh, looks like four plans of the house of a lot of handwritten notes. Seems like Lambert is planning a lot of renovations. I'm getting drunk. All right, let's go through the open door. See if Lambert's just sit there going, <laughs> 
Oh, hello. That looks very time travelly. <laughs> and that really looks out of place. That tainting, the tanning bulb, sorry. It's a tanning bulb. I guess even scientists want to look their best. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with science. Spherical contraption. Very science y. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Uh, blueprints. The blueprints for the time machine, I don't exactly have an engineering degree, but it says so on the drawings. <laughs> Great. Uh, does the other one say anything? Lots of big words and numbers here, but the drawings are really cool. Uh, oh, trash can. Is there something in the trash can? Man, I've been in this job for too long, I can't even walk by a trash can anymore without checking to see if it needs emptying. I'm seeing if we can get anything out of it. I mean, shelf? These shelves are full of electronic parts. And we don't know what the fuck to do with them. I put this tanning bulb in, not the blueprints, the lamp, the desk lamp. There you go. Mm. No. Bulb is way too big to fit inside there. I thought so, but it was worth a shot. Okay, uh, we got bulb. Use it on the door. Wait down the door like light bulb. No, really, Joe, I don't know why you're gonna come up with this stuff. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. That's my thought process most every day. Is there anything up here I could use a bulb on? Applied physics and the words of many can under a primer by Reginald D. Lambert. Oh, he's not going to be happy about this. I just chucked a whole bunch of those on the fire. Oh, no. It was his book. Oh, no. Is there anything oh. back here? Use it. Use this bulb with a lamp. Oh, I can. Oh, I was right. Time machine's working again. Why wouldn't it work on the desk lamp then? That's stupid. Let's go back. Oh, Ooh, an axe. I'll do. There's an axe in there. I can't reach it from here, though. Those are some tough vines. Oh, great. Really? Am I going to bump into the time traveler? It's stuck. All right, so let's go back in here. And boom. Oh, hang on. Someone's using this for something. It looks like some kind of water collection system. Oh, we're going very, like, post-apocalyptic here. Raised beds. Vegetables. This is how, that's how he survived for so long. I'm sure that was a sentence. Are you growing? I'm trying to see what you're growing. Still vegetables. Twig! I'll take your twig. Dry twig. I guess I've put stranger things to good use. Oh, windmill. Oh, the windmill. This wasn't there before. How on earth did he build that all by himself? Because he's fucking awesome. But he got rid of the piano. I'm not happy, you got rid of the piano. A bottle there. Can I get that or no? Vegetables, yeah, okay. So you can't get a grip on it. Get a grip on it, Joe. <laughs> but if we go back, so we can exit the room, so we can go down here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, oh dearie me. I should be able to eat. Can I use the twig to get that? Not to push the vines up the way? Not sure it's gonna work here. Uh, okay. Never mind then. Let's go back down into the cell and go uh, forward in time. I'm gonna get my tenses right. So same I can't actually go further back in time, so I can actually uh Oh There's another door. I don't mind what I was saying, there's another fucking door. This wasn't here before. Yeah, you built an extra room. If we go back, it's wine. I come with the shelf. There's a fire extinguisher. This is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Ah, it's one of those extinguishers which need to be filled up with water first. Is that a thing? I've never heard of that being a thing. Let's go in here and... Whoa! Oh, cool! Wow! Man, this is really something. According to those other blueprints, this was Lambert's first version of the time machine. It looks completely abandoned, though. I mean, look, it's just there! <laughs> no oil drum. Let's have a look. <laughs> Yeah, got the lid off. It's full of oil. It's called a fucking oil drum. Small photo lab. It's a small dark room over here. Red bulb, photo equipment developers. Got everything. So perhaps there's some sort of picture I can find later on. Dip the extinguisher in there. Fuck it. Uh, turn the back to survival. Well, brilliant. You've done yourself this time, Joe. In fact, you start met, let's start rating your Nobel Prize expectant speech. Because this is a top shelf thing. <laughs> Oh, you remind me of me. But what if I dip the twig in, I'll set fire, set fire to the vines. The twig's all oily now. 
Yes, I think I'm onto something. Is this gonna be like a last of us thing where I'm just carrying a burning twig in my pocket? <laughs> it probably is, isn't it? But we did find a rainwater collecting device up here. So if I quickly go back into the past. Future. Fuck! I've already got it wrong. <laughs> Why do I keep thinking it's the past? It's doing my head in now. Uh we we'll use it with the bow. So you can put the fire out. I don't know why we want to put the fire out. I want to start a fire, don't I? Uh, let's set the twig on fire. Ooh, I wish I got mine. I better do it quick. Okay, okay, okay. Right, quick, run, 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 run. You just said you got to do it quick. And now you're being an ass. Burning twigs with the vines. Go, 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 Joe. Come on. I love that the door's still fucked as well. Oh, shit. Whoa. Let's put that out. Um, that's not a fire extinguisher. Oh, whatever. Yeah, stuck in there pretty good, but I got it. You got an axe? Let's go axe that door a question. That's the cool thing to say now, right? You got, anytime you get an axe, you gotta ask someone a question. Let's go, 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 going down. Going down. Axe the door. Fuck up time. You had a chainsaw in the last one, right? You made the tiniest hole with the chainsaw. You have an axe! And I'm gonna step you back. Oh fuck. Went up the ladder. You did this with a fucking axe! Why didn't you do it with a chainsaw, you dumbass? Ugh. Oh. Nemo! He lives! He lives! Woo! So he's taking good care of the fish. I know! Lamb brought him back to life. I like to think so. He's not in the crocodile at all, no. <laughs> He's alive. There's another outside painting. No matter how many times I walk up those steps with my eyes, they always end up in the same place. Bed. Let's go to sleep. The bed is hard as rock. This guy can't... This can't be a good... This can't be good for a guy his age. Lava lamp. Oh, can we take lava lamp? Oh, he did. I love these, fuck, I'm taking, fuck it, I'm having it. I'm going through time, I deserve a lava lamp. A globe up here. I'm not strong, but I'm pretty sure that's the moon up it. Fuck, hey, it is the moon. What? What the fuck? Why has he got the moon? That's bizarre, that's more bizarre than half the things in this game. Speaking of. Oh, can I plug it in here? Whoa. Trippy, hey, there's a ball here. Oh, well, that's clever. That's weird. I don't think this bottle is made of glass. Even the cork seems painted on. Old wine bottle. So what can we use that with? Put the bottle in there. It'll open the door. I'm a fucking genius. Eventually. <laughs> I'm an eventual genius. Okay. Whoa! Hey! Right there. Whoa! Whoa! Stop. Wait, uh, Mr. Lambert. Sir, it's me, Joe. He doesn't know you I yet. I don't know you. What are you See? doing in my house? You fucking see me lava lamp, me here, remember? I've done no such thing. For an intruder, you're not very bright, you know that? Yeah. For all the commotion you've caused getting in here, you might as well have brought a bulldozer. <laughs> now, True. You have exactly you made five seconds big. to explain what you're doing here. Or so help me God, I'm pulling this trigger and sending you on your way. Do I need to time travel? Five. I, I, I was sent here. Four. Oh, Why shit. you? Three. You told I me need to time find travel. you. To warn you about the end of the world. Two. You, you were old, uh, with white hair, and you got shot. Oh, God, please don't shoot me, Mr. Lambert. This, this, you gave me this. Uh, it's an inter-something <laughs> Fuck uh, me. chrono. It's a time machine. <laughs> I was ready to get out of time. I gave you that? Yes, yes. you did. Yes! I've never yes! Seen anything yes! Like <laughs> but on the back, that's my family signet. Signet? I made this. It's so magnificent. Signature? I gave this yeah. to you? Why? Who are you? Name's Joe, sir. I, I'm, I'm just a janitor at the... You're more than that, Joe. We made you awesome. I found you in a room with a big round door in the basement labs this morning, and you, you were dying. You said you were years in the future. You were doing how? Stop the end of the world. I, 
I, I guess I was the only one around, so you gave me this and told me to find you and tell you all this, and I've been there. The future, I mean. A bunch of mm. times. And you were right, Mr. Lambert. Everyone's gone. Everybody's My gone. God, so it did come to pass. They really did whoa. it, those greedy goddamn bastards. Whoa, whoa. I told them this would happen. Wait. I was dying? How? You were shot. You man. said you'd been shot. Yeah. I had to actually find you at the, uh, uh the morgue to get this address. Shot? Shit. By whom? No, wait. Don't say anything else. You succeeded in finding me, which means anything you tell me from this point on could alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep. The less I know, the better. But you know you're gonna die so, by gunshot. You've seen the you future. You change the future, hasn't What he? did you see? It's like a bad dream, sir. Everyone's gone. Buildings are coming apart. It's oh. all just... Yeah, it Quiet. looks like anything in Hollywood, basically. What happened, Mr. Lambert? Play The Last Doctor, of Us is like that. Dr. Lambert. Doctor. And considering all the effort... He is a Time Lord! Fight, He's a doctor! Not to mention bearing witness to the horrific outcome of the biggest breakthrough in the history of science. I suppose I owe you some kind of explanation. That'd be nice. That would really be nice. Oh! Cutscene? Oh! I was 24 when I got hired cat? by Archon, or Athena, as it was called back then. Athena? Ooh. Athena was one of the many weapons R&D companies formed during the Second World War. Oh. Unlike other R&D companies that had retooled themselves to pursue peacetime activities after the war, Athena had made enough money to continue chasing the next big thing in defense technologies. You they were betting the farm them. on post-war Soviet expansion, raising the level of government paranoia to create a lucrative market for esoteric weapons research. Great. What I'd say that? they made the right bet. Still a theoretical Ooh. physicist at MIT, my thesis on the possibility of time travel via dimensional membranes got published shortly after I was hired in 1961. He got a book deal, everyone. Company well hits done. Were so impressed, they gave me a team and a budget. <laughs> Development exceeded even my own expectations. And so after only you basically so cool off. We had the first primitive version of the time the machine TARDIS. up and running. That's the primitive version of the time machine. Why is there a cat in it? What happened to the cat? Is he the one who takes over the world? Did the cat fuck everything up? Our first successful trials involved sending simple objects into the future with a timed return. Right. But with Archon running out of money, that was uh, all the company bigwigs needed to secure a big fat contract with the Department of Defense. Defense. He looks a lot like me. Apparently, we had Say sold the them on the idea that the technology could be used to go back in time and strangle communism in its cradle. Oh, I'm sure the reality, that of course. Was that you it couldn't. couldn't. Due to the laws of, of causality, you can't travel back in time beyond the point where time travel was invented. And Ooh. sooner or later, we had to explain that to our benefactors. That's a new one on time When they travel. started pushing for progress reports, Archon management had to come clean, but instead chose to ease government concerns by claiming the technology could be used to bring back advanced weapons from the future. Uh, that's a better deal for but them, I this suppose. this, too, was a lie. Oh. Corruption in the government. Mm. There's a fucking sh Whoa! At what the point, fuck? At this point, we already had our first of many human trials, and we knew there would be no weapons. What the in hell? In fact, our results were as terrifying as they were baffling. Time pilots returned frenzied and confused, raving about empty streets and human remains. Holy shit, he looks At first, fucked. we assumed the city had suffered a Soviet attack in the near future and had been evacuated as a result. But as we pushed on further, the terrible reality became clear. Oh, Time pilots fuck. started returning fatally ill, dying within a day or two from painful convulsions. Some oh. never returned. What's going to to me? We lost several pilots, machine prototypes, and other equipment. Oh, When the first hell. contamination erupted in the lab, we were completely unprepared. 
losing three lab technicians to what we later identified as an incredibly aggressive airborne virus. Oh no. It is fuck it is the last of us. Oh we gotta have mushroom people. Uh oh. <laughs> I moved Although to the bike, we I forgot about everything. Biohazards of this magnitude, management oh. insisted we contain and study it. Contain to keep our pilots and the virus alive long enough to study. We co-opted experimental cryotechnology from another project, Lazarus, and established a makeshift virus. Of course, lab. you called it fucking Lazarus. Once again, the everything's got fucking Lazarus. Now setbacks into a success story for the Department of Defense. Now claiming that the virus could be cultivated for use as a biological weapon. The team. Uh, you don't have smallpox anymore, you might as well. The outrage was swiftly quenched by promises of massive salary increases and stock options. Uh, yeah, you don't have to say I they were driven by money. The I'd witnessed Ooh. the lethal efficiency of the virus firsthand. Oh. I knew there was only one way this was going to end. So I handed in my resignation and set up shop out here. For over a Yay. year, I've been working to recreate the technology to bring me back in time Nemo. and prevent mankind's extinction from ever happening. And now you're here, the harbinger of doom at my doorstep, wearing a boiler suit. I was a slip, no, mate. Don't fuck that with me. Judgment Day would begin like any other Monday in May. In any no, case, poetic. unfathomable as it may be that you were able to bring this information to me. Knowing is only half the battle. G.I. Joe! will require more than just your tenacity. Me? Wait, what? Yes, I'm afraid I must rely on you one more time. You must go back to Archon and prevent the outbreak. How? No, no, that that's, uh, I mean... I'm really honored and everything, but... Believe me, you're the last person in the world I want to entrust with this. Oh, thanks. And I mean that quite literally. Fuck you too. But by this time tomorrow, the entire city will have succumbed to chaos, panic, and death. You're here now, and you're all I've got. Or maybe if you didn't have Wait, the fucking bayou. You? Can't you fix this, Doc? Don't you have a plan? I can't go myself, because that would break the law of causality. The only reason yeah. you are here to okay, warn me enough. now is because I was there to send you. And the only reason I was there to send you is because I was able to bring my work to fruition here. But... We've no time mm. to waste. It's the only way. You told me you found me this morning, correct? Yes. Yes, but... That means I failed to stop it, and the outbreak has already begun. The time pilot for today's trial must have brought the virus back from the future which then somehow got out of the containment chamber and spread. That pilot is patient zero. Again, patient zero? I need you to destroy the There's super so computer fucking system zeros. controlling the time machine. All the research data is stored there too. You must destroy it before the time machine departs. But wait, I'm reconfiguring your device to send you back one day earlier. This should allow you ample time to return to Archon and get inside. Oh, okay. On the other shore from here, about 500 yards down the road, is a rest stop. You'll find a van there, fueled and ready to go. Oh, I already have a ride. Which won't be there yesterday, the yesterday. you ninny. Oh, you stop ninny! <laughs> One last yeah, thing. Nine years. And I need you, you to listen carefully because this is very, very important. Right. Make sure you do not meet the earlier version of you. Duh. Why? What will happen? Time explodes? No one knows probably? for sure. It's one of the conundrums not yet accounted for. There are theories, of course. None of them pleasant. They never now, are. Now, let's get you ready. Oh, God. I, I, can I run? <laughs> run away, Joe! Hey! In my little VW Super Van. into this. I nearly got killed trying to reach Dr. Lambert, thinking he had a plan. He did. It was a very shit plan. And it turns <laughs> out it's me. I'm the plan. Yep. At least I don't have shit to walk plan. back. This van's not as cool as the ambulance, but it Fuck has off, its it's charm. cool. And it sure was nice of you him to love it. me lunch. 
Where's she packed me a can opener for the beans, though? And some gas for the Bunsen burner. Oh. But I'm sure I'll think of something. I've got several hours of driving ahead of me, after all. It'll be almost morning before I get to Archon. I'm sure those beans and Bunsen have aren't used for anything else. Uh, time. Get it? Get it? Everyone get it? Time? Huh? He hasn't got enough time, but he's in a time travel story the night before. Chapter 8, Outside Arca. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I usually do two chapters now, but that was quite a long chapter, a lot of exposition there. Uh, we now know what's happening now, what caused the horrible future. Can't say I'm entirely surprised. I was expecting some... I was expecting monsters more than an airborne virus, but I, it's still not a very nice future to go into. I hope um, Joe hasn't contracted it himself. He's been in the future quite a lot. Unless he got killed off in the, in the future he kept fast forwarding to. That's probably what the device does. The small device probably stops you contracting it or something, like cancels it out. But we will find out soon, as we will prepare to go back to Archon. Where it all began. This has certainly been an interesting episode. I certainly enjoyed it. And uh, I will be sad when this game finishes. This has been a fun game. I'm really hoping that Joe can unfuck the world. As always, thank you for watching. And remember, you don't have to be mental to watch this channel. There's certainly fucking Ta-ra.